In this video, we're going to talk about using your 3D model texture and turn it into a painting effect using Photoshop and Unreal Engine. So this is the model you can download from scratchfab.com. The download link is down below. Open up your Unreal Engine and we can use a blank name your project and create. So once you are in, you can press Ctrl space to open up a browser and maybe create a new folder or your asset is inside. And what you can do is import in the model that you just download. Just click and drag inside. And with the default setting, you can just click import all. So once it's inside, we have some error over here. So for now, we will just ignore this and it will provide you with a few material so for this exercise we will use the base texture and the normal texture just double click on this static mesh it will bring you to this window this is how it look like at the beginning okay under here the material you can double click here to go to your material setup so you have your base texture and your normal texture okay so now we need to edit this base texture and your normal texture so we will use another plugin for a Photoshop. We will use okay, free Photoshop action. The download link is down below. You can just download this whole action file. So once download, unzip the file. You have these three Photoshop file and one guide. So double click on the guide. For details, you can refer to this instruction. So I will just guide you through how to install. Open up your Photoshop to install the action. Just go to your window action. Then click on this option button and load action. Okay, select the place where you save painterly action. The next step is to install the brushes. Click on the option. If you don't have these brushes here, you can go to window and brushes. Click the brushes. You can import your brushes. Import brushes and load. Okay, then you have your painterly brushes here. Once you got that, the last step you need to do is to import your pattern. Okay, under your pattern, click on the option button and import pattern. Okay, make sure you import your brushes and your pattern. Okay, once you have everything, once you load up everything, you can open up your base color. Under your action, you can select set selection. So press M and select the whole thing and just click on this play button and let it run. It will take a few seconds or few minutes, depends on your file size. Once it's done, render complete, you can press continue. So in your layer, this is before and this is after. So I don't need the border. You can switch off the border. You can select the layer that you want. So I'll switch off this border and this paint effects. And I don't need the additional stroke. And under the review details, yeah, this is all black. If you switch to color and use the brush and use white color, I want, want it to be more details. So review details, I will use white color to paint over it. Then the opacity and flow, I will change it to 50%. And I just paint it to review the words clearly. Okay, and over here is the orange part. Maybe I can click to review it also. Okay, maybe the white part, don't need it to be so dirty. Once I'm done, I can export it in PNG. Okay, so we have the base color paint. Okay, so we will do the same thing for the normal. Open the normal, open the action and select, press M and select the set and we can press play. Once it's done, press continue, switch off the small stroke and switch off the medium stroke and also the border. After it switch off, I can export it as a PNG also. Okay, to load in your new texture, you just need to press Control Space, and just click and drag your new texture inside. Okay, once it's done, right click to drag around, Control Space, and drag your both texture inside. We will try to connect our base first. Okay, just click and drag inside apply and now you will see our base here so before we use our normal 
let us import into our scene and let's have a look at how it looks like first. In our scene, use our static mesh and just drag it inside. Okay, zoom it in. Okay, to see the lighting, go to your directional light and then at the Z axis, you can rotate the lighting. And the Y axis, you can change whether you want it to be a daytime or a nighttime. So this is the texture after you change the base texture. We need to use our normal to enhance the painting effect. Let's go back to our material. Now we will use this new normal map. Connect it to the normal. Click apply and save. Let's go back to our map. You will see a much enhanced painterly effect texture. Okay, so this is how I create paint effect in Unreal Engine. Okay, hope you have learned something and I'll see you next time.